We're just waiting for Debbie and Michelle and run some bikes. <laughs> Get some food. Some ice cream. Some ice cream. I want some ice cream. Uh, you so laugh crazy. At? So Friday night was part one of the shoot and ended up going super, super late. And I actually had to wake up at 6 a.m. to shoot a 14 hour wedding day the next day. Uh, that was Saturday. And then today, which is Sunday, we're shooting part two of Debbie and Michelle's portfolio shoot. But anyway, we're here ready with all the gear. Um, going even more slimmed down this time because we're shooting on a beach and we're gonna be moving around a lot and we don't want a lot of gear. So we're just going um, my Sony gear, Lexus Fuji gear, and the gimbal, and that's it. And of course the vlogging equipment, 5100, stuff like that. And a reflector, and I think that's about it. So nice minimal gear today. Um, should be nice to bring around and not too cumbersome and yeah. Can't wait to get started. Thank you. So for this portion of the shoot, we're gonna make it a lot more fun and show them really as a couple, whereas the portion at the gym was showing them in their respective art their gymnastics and dance and what they're passionate about whereas now you get to have fun with them and have them be all cutesy and just go be silly. <laughs> Too hot for clothes. You're such a big girl. Look at these cuties back there. Hello. Aww. Are you a little less stressed out now? Yes, but it's 8.24. The sun's gonna set pretty soon. So that's another thing to be a little stressed Can't out about. Can't miss that sunset. So on Friday we did our shoot at the gymnastics gym with Debbie and Michelle for their first portion of the photo shoot and Saturday Josh did a 14 hour wedding which was crazy for him and last minute they decided that they were able to do their second portion of the shoot on Sunday. Which we obviously jumped on the chance to do because we really wanted to get it um, done and finished and we were super excited about day one already. We definitely had to do that shoot as soon as we could so ended up happening on Sunday. I was exhausted, I just want to say that right off the bat. I was so tired that day, but luckily the shoot was in the later portion of the day so I could kind of sleep through the first half and kind of get my energy up for the second. Yeah, and it ended up going amazingly well. Debbie and Michelle were great. They have awesome, candid interactions with each other and that's kind of the second part of the story we wanted to tell. Because Debbie and Michelle are very independent people and have very separate lives, you really wanted to share that in their story. So we wanted to show them off as them in their respective sports and then also them coming together and being the cute couple that they really are. So we decided to do the second portion at Third Beach where they actually went on their first date together so we thought that tied in really well with their story. We had them walking on the seawall, we rented um, some of those the shaw bikes. bikes which had a little bit of branding on it but it's okay, they look pretty nice. And we actually went to a food truck, got some ice cream, and yeah, just kind of had a nice little date for them, and yeah. we're there to capture it. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that really came up uh, while we were waiting for Debbie and Michelle to show up was that 
it's really difficult to do this kind of hybrid photo and video shooting that we're trying to do. Like we're only, it's only two of us um, working for my wedding company before. It was just like, all I had to focus on was photo. And that's all I had to come up with. And oftentimes you just show up to a location and just come up with things on the fly. And that was totally fine. Now it's like, you know, we have story kind of figured out beforehand. Uh, we have video figured out beforehand. I have shots that I have in my mind, like everything's planned out, but it's like when you actually get to that location and you start shooting, it's like, there's so much pressure to get everything and make sure you capture everything and then get the moments in between because you don't want to miss good reactions and like everything just starts jumbling up and it's like, you know, we want to make good behind the scenes videos, so we got to have other cameras rolling. I had four cameras in my hand at one yeah. time, two in my hol holsters. <laughs> two tripods with two cameras walking around and some guy yeah. kind of made fun of me. He yeah. was like, look, four cameras over there! I'm like, someone take this from me, I look stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's all worth it in the end when we come up with this great portfolio, but at the time, it's it does get overwhelming. And I get where he's coming from, and, and that's because I know that you have all this pressure on you because you're the photographer, and then you came up with like most of the shots for the story, whereas my head wasn't as in it as much, and that's kind of what we discussed that day was, I really need to take on that video portion, and he needs to just focus on the photos. So that's kind of what we ended up doing, where I did all the video and he did all the photos. Yeah. So it was just before we actually started shooting, we kind of had to talk that through to make sure mm -hmm. we knew what we were doing and what we needed to capture for that day. So one piece of gear that really came in handy was our new ND filters and that let us shoot at very low apertures even in bright sunlight mm -hmm. and use S-log or F-log <laughs> and just kind of really capture all that dynamic range that's in the scene. It makes our videos look amazing and like literally log sh shooting in video is addictive. Yeah, it actually yeah. is addictive. It's like yeah. shooting raw for photo. You just come back to the editing software and you're like, oh my god, this looks so amazing. <laughs> You just capture all this dynamic range, it's awesome. So that came in really handy. I was able to shoot, you know, in bright sunlight at 1.8 in video, and that's awesome. And then Lex got to use it on their 5140 to kind of capture those nice, you know, behind the scenes moments, those candid shots. Well, I had all of the, um, all of my shots, or all not all of my shots, most of my shots, I, I did have a lot of shots that were in the film, and that's kind yeah. of what I was capturing, so it was. Yeah. happy about that. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, she captured a lot of those nice like interactions, candid moments, and that's exactly what I was looking for for the film. Because I didn't perfect. want you to be stressed out about getting certain shots. So it was like, yeah. okay, so I guess that's where I kind of slacked in the behind the scenes video because I was kind of focusing on just getting Debbie and Michelle, whereas I didn't get as much as you of you or right. us setting up, but. Turns out I had a pretty good amount, so it all worked out in the end. But yeah. it didn't feel like I had that much compared to the rest of the videos that we've worked on. Yeah. I wouldn't say you always have more than you feel like you have, but, you know, I feel like we're kind of trying to train ourselves to always have cameras rolling. And yeah. at the end of the day, we usually have more than we yeah. think yeah. we do. So that's a good, that's a good uh, strategy to have, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I do want to say that we were really stressed out before starting this shoot, but once we got into it, everything just started flowing. It was great. They were happy. We were happy. Yeah. And we got some really good stuff yeah. as well. Until we got to the beach. So once we got to the beach proper, um, I think it was like 8.20 or 8.30 or something like that. And the sun was like real low. It was oh. like just about to set. And we're still walking on the seawall to get to where we needed to be. And yeah, I started stressing out again, to be honest, because I knew, like, even though we got all these amazing shots from beforehand on the beach, or sorry, at the gym, we still needed those, like, epic shots mm -hmm. at the beach. And we had some silhouettes in mind, but I'm like, you know, we still need to be playful on the beach, you know, run on the sand, kick some water, stuff like that. And I really didn't want the sun to dip below the horizon mm -hmm. because it was already super smoky that day and didn't look the best. And I knew once that sun set that... That we were done. <laughs> orangey, smoky cloud would just look even more gross and gray and stuff like that. So it wouldn't really light up the way sometimes mm -hmm. it does after the sun sets. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a little stressful, but um, I don't know. I don't even know what happened. It just kind of all worked out. Yeah. And it was like we were good. We felt good once the sun yeah. went down. It wasn't like we were stressed yeah. out and we needed to figure out 
another location for us to shoot yeah. or anything. It was like, wow, well, I guess... Yeah, we got everything. It was I good. guess the sun's down, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one bonus was that that light was extremely soft. So yeah, it was really nice true. soft light. And that looked pretty good on camera, so it was good. All right, so we're all done here. Uh, we're going to keep these talks short for these shoots. And we're just super excited with all the stuff that we got. We're really happy. We can't wait to post these uh, portfolio shoots and everything. And yeah, I guess it's my time to get to the editing and talk to you guys then. All right, here we are for part two of the image review. Um, this time we're at Stanley Park and English Bay. And we're just kind of, we basically set up a date for Debbie and Michelle. Um, they're going on a date, they're going through all these things, and we're just kind of capturing some candid reactions and interactions, and they're a really cute couple, so they did absolutely awesome for this. And we started out actually getting a little ice cream for them, so they're here at Rain and Shine Ice Cream, it's a food truck down at English Bay. And yeah, for these images, it was, it's just more about their interaction. We obviously have a lot more images from this section because they're not so posed, they're not so uh, set up. And... Yeah, we just had them kind of going up to the food truck. They got some ice cream. Retouching for these images, very, very minor. I'm just doing like some little spot removal, little tweaks here and there. And yeah, here they have their ice cream and they're walking away from the food truck. Um, things like, you know, taking away the sign here on the top right, this weird like box looking thing, just some general cleanup, clean up to the floor, just removing distractions from the background. And once they start kind of eating the ice cream, they're smiling, they're laughing, they did awesome. Um, you know, you always think it might be awkward for them, but they always do great. Um, here's like, I guess a little bit more skin cleanup. Some like just retouching on the skin and just kind of taking away minor blemishes and things. Um, just again, kind of removing some distractions from the background. All right, here's a shot where I was standing way back and kind of shooting through some people, some people walking on through. And you know, I was just kind of waiting for the right moment, Debbie and Michelle were smiling or something like that, and firing off a burst. And then here, without the people, just framing it up really nice, so they actually picked up their bikes already. And yeah, it was just this really nice scene with the tree, the shadow, them right there, the bikes, and I just really, really like this composition. Okay, then they got on the bikes. We're riding it on the seawall. Um, we really just wanted to use this spot because it was a nice stretch, a nice background, and I liked how the sun was coming in all the way from the right there. Here's a little bit closer up. Really good interactions between two of them. You really get a sense of they're having a lot of fun. So I really like the shot. And then the wide from the side there. Um, yeah, just again showing good interaction. A little bit more environmental for this one. And yeah, it's all part of telling that story. So this uh, orange glow right here over the sun, that was actually done in Photoshop. Um, so as I mentioned before in the Nightobi behind the scenes, um, I really, really like making a radial uh, adjustment layer in Photoshop. So I'll create a new layer. I'll use the radio tool and create this really like big orange blob. Um, make that layer a soft light layer, uh, blending mode, and then I'll just adjust the opacity. And I just really, really like the way it affects the colors and just gives this really nice warmth to the image. So there's the final one there. You can just, so, it's so much more summery, you know? Um, I think it just looks way better. So this is actually the shot that connects from the first um, location. So the first location, the very last shot is they're walking out of the gym and then here we come into Stanley Park and they're walking towards the camera so it's that kind of connecting um, shot there. Uh, pretty similar in terms of retouching, I'm taking out this uh, slight flare that's right here in the tree. I'm taking out some people in the background, this boat, and just kind of cleaning up the image and yeah, Debbie and Michelle looking really good right there. So next we went all the way to Third Beach. We actually had to walk all the way down and the sun was setting real fast. So this one was a little bit more rushed once we got here. And yeah, it was actually kind of gross. The ground was just like covered in these, I don't know what they're called, but they're little bugs and they kind of hop around the sand, but they're just 
everywhere, I think because of the um, dead kelp that was washed up on the beach. Um, but yeah, the, again, Debbie Michelle did great. They turned on the smiles and we got some good reactions. So the name of the game for these ones was Spot Removal. There were so many people in the background. Um, it was a busy weekend evening in Third Beach, so there's definitely going to be a lot of people. And yeah, just a ton of spot removal, even cleaning up the sand, you know, the particles in the background. Um, luckily, the people were pretty blurred out, so it was very easy to spot remove them out of the background. Uh, this is just a nice shot, kind of showing out towards the water there. Again, a nice close-up, some good interactions there, and we have them kind of walk out into the beach and play in the water a little bit. Um, always really like these low-angle telephoto shots. I think they just add, you know, a nice amount of foreground. They're quite environmental, and yeah, I just really like this angle, especially if they're playing, you know, especially if they're running or walking on some sort of level ground that uh, is a little bit further away. Um, so they're playing in the water, they're kind of running towards us. I captured this with the 25. Um, this is something I'll use quite a bit is when they get closer, especially if they're doing some sort of action, if they're running or walking or you know doing all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll use a 25 quite close to them and it kind of gives this nice sense that you're like you're right there with them. You're like in the moment with them. And of course, it is also quite environmental, so you're getting a lot of the background. Um, once again, just removing just a crazy amount of people. Um, luckily, it is quite blurred back there, so I didn't have to be too careful with the details. Um, yeah, just kind of removing all those people, all those distractions from the background. All right, here's a nice close-up of them kind of walking into the water again. And we had Debbie pick her up and twirl her around. Um, again, this is just that Photoshop radio layer that just kind of creates this really nice orange highlight or accent to the top. It just I just kind of place it wherever the sun is and it just adds this really nice warmth to the image. Again, playing with those yellows and blues I was talking about before, so always having that split tone consistent throughout the images and it really just ties everything together. Next, I had Debbie Holder from behind. This is always just a nice pose to show some romance and show some intimacy. A nicer close-up there. Again, good reactions from the both of them. And this is another shot we had planned uh, for the shoot, so I knew when we went to the beach, I'd really want to kind of tie it all together so that they, you know, they're coming together at the beach, but they're still like the dancer and gymnast that they were at the beginning of the shoot. Um, so I wanted them to kind of jumping off the log with the beautiful sunset in the background and yeah, just kind of capturing that part of their lives together. Here we have them, just one last shot. I just kind of wanted one more uh, playful interaction between them. So they're walking on this log. Again, just removing lots of people from the background. You know, just all these distractions, they just had to go. All I want people to focus on is the two of them. So that is all the images from our shoot. So I think we did an amazing job capturing their story and their essence and who they are as a couple um, during the shoot. I'm really happy that we managed to get in the gym and get those really awesome, dramatic, powerful images early on. And then we could come together at Stanley Park and capture some more playful interactions and things like that. Um, I think it really just kind of tells their story better than either shoot wood and yeah again i'm just really happy i cannot wait to show these to people i think they're amazing and i hope you do too so thanks for joining me again um yeah again just let me know what you kind of feel about the behind the scenes i'll keep doing them until you tell me not to and i just think there's you know quite a bit of useful information and i just want to share all of it with you guys so see you in the next one We'll